Are you up to your eyeballs in laundry? You find that laundry's fun for you? Hmm, let's see. Maybe I can help. Has laundry got you down? Well, let's learn a few tips and tricks you can from an age-old mom, 47 years old with 13 kids. Who knows a thing or two about laundry? If we haven't met yet, my name is Michelle. Yes, I am a mom to 13 kids. Can you believe it? I have nine boys and four girls. I just gave birth 10 weeks ago to our 13th child. Her name is Millie. Then we have a son-in-law, a daughter-in-law, and four beautiful grandchildren. So today I'm gonna to share with you some of the problems and complications that I've had doing laundry and the solutions I've found that have helped. And who knows, maybe they'll help you too. Watch and see. So laundry is one of those things that can become really a big problem. You know, it's a challenge because it's something you have to do all the time. And some people get annoyed with it more than others. Sorry for the darkness, it's getting dark here. But I have so much laundry that I have to do, but I've had a few things that I've done to make it simpler, and I thought I would share that with you. So let me turn the light on and get this ready for you. I'm doing Millie's laundry, and it's quite soiled because you know babies, they have blowouts. So set this up and talk to you while I do it. Or, you know, it's kind of busy. Let me double check, make sure there's nothing in here. Thank goodness there's not. So a mom with 13 kids is gonna have a lot of laundry, right? Well, except for in my position, I have done the thing where you teach kids how to do their own laundry. Wait, what did she just say? Let's hear that again. Sometimes those kids just need to do their own laundry. We handicap them by doing it for them for way too long. They're perfectly capable, I assure you, perfectly capable. Fact, my kids who are three to six years old are perfectly capable of sorting laundry. And that's when I start them, start them young, get them helping, learn to be part of the community of the family. So my kids that are six years old will literally sort darks from lights. Sure, I'm right there with them, but I'm making sure they learn how. Because by the time they're eight, well, even by the time they're six and seven, I'm having them sometimes put the wash in the actual um, machine, in the washer or the dryer. And it makes it really helpful when they already kind of have a head start on that and you teach them about filling it up. But by the time they're eight, I'm literally helping them guiding them through it and I'm making sure they know which buttons to push and I'm making sure they know what to drop in and I'm making sure they know what fabric sheet and what temperature to turn things on so that by the time they're 10 years old I only have to watch them once or twice and then they're on their own. It makes them feel big and then they're independent and they have a life skill that will help them and benefit them for the rest of their life. And my kids, once they're about eight years old, I start teaching them how to do laundry. And once they are 10 years old, they're doing it by themselves. They don't need me anymore. So before, until that time, it's kind of that way. Um, but I just thought that, you know, with if it's a problem, sometimes we make it bigger in our head than it really needs to be. Laundry doesn't need to be a big problem. Laundry doesn't have a lot of steps to it, unless, of course, the clothes are soiled. Even then, there's tricks you could do to make things better. Like, for instance, I'm washing the baby's clothes. The baby's clothes I always wash with Drift because um, I don't want them to have allergies and I love them to smell good. I also add quite a bit of hydrogen peroxide and a Clorox to I pod. I'm not one of those amazing moms who makes my own salt, soap, laundry soap, dish soap, all that soap. Eventually, I'll make something like that, but not yet, okay? I'm not there yet. But for now, we're just doing the laundry. And so, um, so I'm always trying to find tricks and tips and things like that that just make laundry go faster and better. But one of the best things I've ever done was cut down on clothes. Because my theory is this, if I can't get your personal laundry done in two loads or less, then you've got too much laundry. And because I'm doing laundry once a week for my twins, I'm doing laundry once a week for Millie, and I'm doing laundry for myself once a week and my husband once a week. And then I also do laundry for um, the towels and um, bedding on the person's day of laundry. So that would total about three loads of laundry for sure. And that laundry is um, necessary, right? Like you wanna, but when I, so like if I'm washing the twins laundry, I can do that and sometimes just one load. The trick is I bought, I bought clothing and materials that were cohesive. 
like cottons and polyesters. Those wash, wash really well together. And I try to do a lot of the colors that are similar so that they wash easier. And it's really made a difference. And they each have about 10 to 12 outfits. That way I know for sure I can have the laundry done in the amount of time it's gonna take me to get back around to their laundry. And I really hate doing laundry on the weekends. So I'm only doing laundry about four to five days a week. So Monday through Thursday, Friday at the latest. And that just works really great for me. So if there's anything you can do to make it to where you don't have to do that much laundry, you know, you count me people that are in your family, then uh, if you did that combining thing, you know, or the girls laundry you wash together or the boys laundry you wash together, then that should actually work really well for you. Did any of that even make sense to you? Here, let me break it down so that you can actually understand. Tip number one is all about establishing a pleasant atmosphere. Allow me to explain. So the first tip I have for you is to make sure that when you have your laundry room to make sure it's painted a color that makes you cheerful, makes you feel happy to be inside the room, almost like takes your breath away, brings you joy, like Marie Kondo says. So when you walk in the room, you just go, oh, I'm excited to do the laundry. And then I also made it to where I have some cute but funny signs hanging in here, like laundry room, sorting out life one load at a time. That's a good, positive, uplifting motivation. This one, the laundry room, same day service, sort tomorrow, wash later, dry maybe, iron, get real. We don't iron here, we're tacky. Um, this one, the laundry room, the laundry room, it's loads of fun, right? And then I've got this one back here that says, laundry, good, clean, fun. So those signs just make me feel cheerful and they, they make me feel happy. And I think that that's really important for having um, a laundry room that you actually enjoy working in. The next thing that I did was um, when we bought this house, not only was it an ugly white, like all fingerprinted and dingy and old, it just had a single wire shelf. There was no way that was gonna hold the laundry aids, let alone the laundry soap that I needed to put in here. So we opted to buy this at Home Depot. It's just a four cabinet shelf. Each cabinet has three shelves. I took out one of the shelves in this end one so I could fit my bigger laundry soap. And that makes it a lot better for our family. So I'm telling you a fun and cheerful environment filled with positive messages that uplift you and inspire you are key. That's tip number one. The next thing is to cut back on clothes. We all have way more than we need, don't you think? And that's what I would start with. Years and years and years ago, I read a book called Simplifying Your Life with Kids because I had that same problem, but I wanted a solution because I don't like living in the problem. I like living in solutions. So what did I do? I figured out a way with guidance from that lady to be able to get rid of a lot of clothes for my kids and figured, you know, there's only seven days in a week. Do we really need more than seven days worth of clothes? No, we don't. But if you want to just get a few extras, so you have say like 10, maybe even 12. And if you don't want to wash laundry except for once every two weeks and everybody should have 14 or 15 outfits but any more than that is ridiculous because little kids grow fast and seasons go by so fast you only need you know your clothes for one maybe two seasons so it's really not a big deal to um, cut back on clothes and I noticed that the clothes handle the wear and tear for that amount of time and it works really great for the kids so and even for myself because by the time I've gone through my clothes for a year or two I don't really want to wear that that much anymore there's only a few pieces that I hang on to from year after year so let things go it's not a big deal that's tip number two now for tip number three. Tip number three is to piggyback your laundry and to set your timer. That way you won't lose track. Let's talk about how, how we're going to get our laundry done because it's an issue for a lot of people. I've just heard so many complaints and so many people ask me how I do it and I'm telling you it's easier than you think. So when it comes to doing laundry, I do the laundry for um, my twins, Rated and Ripped In, my daughter Millie, myself, and my husband. Sometimes he does his own, but usually I get to do his. We also have towels and bedding that need to be done. So what I like to do is piggyback off like when I do my laundry, I do my two loads and then I do our bed sheets. When I do my husband's laundry, I do his two loads and then I do towels. When I do Millie's laundry, I wash her bedding 
and her clothes. So that's two loads. And then when I do the twins laundry, I wash their laundry with one, sometimes two loads, and I wash their sheets. Does that make sense? So that way I'm not doing any more than three loads in one day. And that might seem like a lot to you, but for the amount of people I have, I think it's not very much. And I just set that timer and I'm done. It's perfect. Try it. Wait, what was that? I set the timer for one hour after I put the load in and one hour after I put the second load in. And that way I know I'm gonna have the laundry done. And after my last load, I'm always gonna set the timer one more time for about 30 to 40 minutes. That way I can remember to take it out of the dryer and start folding it to put it away. And that really makes a difference in how I get my laundry done. Clear instructions are posted right outside of the laundry room. The kids know exactly what day they want to do their laundry, and they know that they have three hours to do their laundry as well as their bedding. It says, outside the laundry room, that says, um, I do laundry from morning till three o'clock. After three o'clock, if you need to throw your laundry in, you can. But generally, the weekend, Friday or Saturday, is designated for my teenagers to be able to get their laundry done and my adult son who lives in this house. So that way, everybody knows when it's free. So I'm not usually doing laundry on Friday, but definitely not on Saturday. And they get uh, either the morning, the afternoon, or the evening slot. That way, they have someone that's kind of bumping them out to make sure they finish, and that way, um, they have a time slot so they know how much laundry they could get done in that amount of time. Sure, it'd be great if I had, you know, two sets of washers and dryers. Sure, it'd be great if I had a, a commercial washer and dryer, but I just have a regular old everyday washer. And yeah, we go through washers and dryers. That's just the way it goes. We usually buy a, an, I mean, we've bought brand new washers and dryers, but we find that they don't really last a whole lot longer than the ones we buy used. So we just buy them on Facebook yard sale for a hundred bucks, you know, or whatever. And it just works a whole lot better that way. And so um, right now I'm pre-treating all these clothes with either OxyClean or spray and wash. And both of these I find work excellent for all the clothes. And I've been using them for years, and that's just the way it is. Like I said, I'm not perfect, and my kids aren't poisoned, so um, they're still alive. I've raised many of them to adulthood, so I think we're good to go on what I'm doing. Um, so I hope after listening to all these tips and tricks that you feel inspired to do your own laundry and to have a little fun when you're doing it. Maybe even turn on some music because that always makes things nice. And then if not, that you at least enjoyed watching the methods that I have to use to do laundry and maybe then you won't feel so bad about the amount of laundry you have to do but if you have more to do than I do then you're in trouble so reevaluate your situation and make a decision to do things a little better and have a little less for clothing and that should help simplify your life with kids she runs some of these clothes to the point that I don't know if I'll be able to let her wear them again <laughs> we'll see if they come out good So I'm almost finished, and I'll set my timer and have it good to go. I'll put it up immediately. That's helpful. Squeeze some of this in here. And that's how it's done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Put a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe so you can find out more problems that I have and then the solutions that I have to fix them. Take care.